So, you ever meet someone who types five commands just to open a folder? Or someone who treats Linux like it's some ancient religion? Welcome to the Linux community. It's chaotic, it's brilliant, and sometimes just plain weird. These are few types of Linux users. And yeah, one of them is probably you. First, the I use Arch, by the way, guy. This guy can't help himself. You could be talking about literally anything, like, hey man, what's for lunch? He'll go, I use Arch, by the way. He probably spent two days installing it, just to post a screenshot on Reddit, and now, it's his personality. And yes, high thigh socks on the lock screen. It's not even ironic anymore. He's fully committed. If Linux had a cult, he'd be their stylish prophet. Second, the terminal wizard. This guy hasn't seen a GUI in years. He doesn't click. He executes. His mouse is probably dusty. You show him a file manager and he's like, disgusting. He controls everything from the terminal, music, emails, his toaster probably. One time you asked how to rename a file and he typed out a command that looked like a spell from Harry Potter, then winked. He doesn't even copy paste. He types like it's a performance. Some say his soul is trapped inside sudo. Third, the Ubuntu noob, fresh off the boat. Probably came from Windows after watching one Linux YouTuber say, you can do everything on Ubuntu. And now he's panicking in forums like, hey guys, I ran this command and everything's gone. Please help. His system breaks twice a week. But you know what? He's vibing. One day he'll get there. For now, he's just vibing and reinstalling. Fourth, the distro hopper. This guy changes distros more than I change tabs when I'm avoiding work. Today it's Fedora, tomorrow it's Manjaro. By next week he's knee-deep in some obscure tiling distro with no GUI and only 17 users on GitHub. You ask him why he switched and he's like, bro, this one just feels right. No it doesn't, your Wi-Fi still doesn't work. Fifth, the hacker wannabe. You know this one, he watched Mr. Robot one time and now he's wearing a hoodie indoors. He boots into Cali like he's about to bring down a government. Runs Nmap, sees two open ports, and gets excited like, oh damn, I'm in? No you're not bro, you just scanned your printer. But hey, at least the vibes are cool. Sixth, the breaker. This guy treats Linux like a playground, but with explosives. Every week he's like, hey I found this random script on GitHub, looks kinda cool. And then five minutes later, desktop's gone. Now he's in recovery mode googling stuff like, how to fix everything. I just broke Linux, please urgent. His install USB has been used more than his browser, but for some reason, he never learns. Chaos is his coping mechanism. Seventh, the Rice Lord. He doesn't use Linux, he styles Linux. His desktop looks like anime met cyberpunk in a dream. Transparent terminals, animated weather widgets, battery percentage in Roman numerals. Everything's been tweaked to perfection. You ask how he did it, and he's like, oh yeah, it was super easy. Just edit like 14 config files and sacrifice some RAM. Bro's system looks amazing, but he only uses it to open Discord. Eighth, the work guy. This one's quiet. He's not here for drama or ricing or hacker vibes. He's got GNOME, stock everything, dark mode, and... That's it. You ask him what distro he uses and he's like, whatever came with the laptop. And you know what? He gets stuff done. While the rest of us are tweaking configs or fixing things we broke, he's out there, actually working. Last, the secret Windows user. He talks big, says he's full Linux now, totally ditched Windows. But at 2 a.m., you know he's booting into that sweet dual boot partition. Claims it's just for Adobe stuff. But we all know he was gaming on Windows last night with RGB lights on full blast. Still pretends like he's hardcore Linux. But the recycle bin icon? Yeah. It's still warm. So yeah, that's the Linux Zoo. Be honest, which one are you? Or are you the still stuck on Windows but pretending guy? Drop it in the comments, I need to know.